All right. Good morning. How are you? Here I am at the Fight for Queensland rally. And behind me, there is a whole bunch of people who are at the Fight for Queensland rally too. And we are here to stand up for better education, better schools, better outcomes for all Australian kids and a better future. Because we think it shouldn't be your postcode that, de that determines the sort of education that you get. We think it shouldn't be uh, the wealth of your parents. It shouldn't be your bank balance. We think that every, every single child in Australia deserves a fantastic education. And that's why Labor announced our Your Child, Our Future policy some time ago. And that's why Bill Shorten is going to be here in my electorate of Griffith this morning talking to people about that policy. You can see behind me that there are so many people here for this rally to talk to each other, to hear from each other about the importance of education in their local communities and also because they want to get the word out. They want everyone in Queensland to know the importance of the Fight for Queensland movement and the importance of the Your Child, Our Future, rally, uh, the Your Child, Our Future policy. It's, uh, it's so great to see so many good friends and supporters here. You can see people behind me. I'm getting, or, I'm getting quite a good view of all these guys. And very soon I'm expecting and in fact hoping uh, that the, the Bill Shorten bus is going to roll into town. Bill's been out there uh, on the streets, uh, driving down from Cairns, all down through regional Queensland. He's been talking to people every day in towns along the coast about the importance of education for our nation's future. It's not just a benefit to the individual child. It's not just a benefit to the child's family. It's a benefit to our whole nation. Because when you improve schools, when you improve education policy, when you fix schools funding, that contributes to economic growth. We say, if you're going to make a choice between spending $48.2 billion on tax cuts for corporations, and between that and fixing up the schools funding model for this country so that every child gets a better education, so that every school becomes a better school, we think it's a pretty much a no-brainer. We think it's pretty clear that if you want to invest in Australia, if you want to invest in Australia's future, if you want to invest in growth, and if you want to invest in growth that includes everyone, where everyone gets the opportunity to benefit from and share in that economic growth, then you have to fix schools funding. It's absolutely crucial for our nation's future. So we're looking forward to hearing from Bill and a few other people this morning at the Fight for Queensland rally. We're here at the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Centre in downtown South Brisbane, uh, part of the best electorate in the country, my electorate, the electorate of Griffith. It's an absolute honour and a pleasure to get to represent this electorate. I love being here. I love being its representative. I love representing the South Side in Australia's parliament. And I know that so many Southsiders out there, just like so many people across this country, are waiting for us, are depending on us to form government so that we can deliver our Your Child, Our Future policy, so that we can deliver on standing up for better health care for people, so that we can deliver uh, on standing up for more affordable housing in this country, so that we can deliver on standing up for inclusive growth, for growth in which everyone can share. That's what we're doing. That's why I'm at the Your Child, Our Future policy discussion today that's going to be held here at the Fight for Queensland rally. We are going to fight for Queensland. We are fighting for Queensland because we believe that Queenslanders deserve better than a Turnbull government that wants to cut health, a Turnbull government that wants to rip $6.2 billion out of schools, a Turnbull government that's more interested in its own mates than in standing up for people. We put people first. That's what Labor does. We put people first. We'll always put people first. And today's rally, the Fight for Queensland rally, is going to be a great opportunity for us to talk to a lot of people about what that means, what that means in real policy terms. If you want to know more about our policies, you can find out more about them. Have a look at our 100 Positive Policies website. In fact, if you just Google 100 Positive Policies, you'll find the Labor Party's page. You'll be able to see the many, many policies that we have released uh, since our first policy release way back in March 2015. It's, a, it's an amazing page that sets out our plan for Australia's future. A real plan, an inclusive plan, a plan that puts people first. In contrast, Malcolm Turnbull's Liberals have been able to deliver nothing but cuts. Uh, no plan for Australia's future. They've got a plan for the top 1% but they don't have a plan to put people first. Labor is different. We'll form a government that will put people first. Thanks very much everyone.
and uh, I hope you have a great day. Tune in for more information about the Fight for Queensland rally. Queensland deserves better, Australia deserves better, and I can't wait to form part of a Bill Shorten Labor government after the 2nd of July. Thanks everyone and goodbye.